Okay, so I just got a new um, Windows tablet. It's a Venue 8 Pro, Dell Venue 8 Pro. Uh, it's the full version of Windows, so anything you can do on Windows, you can do really on here. It's a 32, uh, 32 whatever OS, megabyte, whatever the hell am I saying? Yeah, what the hell am I talking about? Anyways. Uh, so, you know, you can get all your Windows applications, uh, so, say I want to launch, this is a animation software, and it allows you to create, like, animated, kind of video game style or, uh, cartoons, it's kind of like, uh, Sims looking, uh, animated cartoons, so, this is cool, um, you could have like all, and you can make them do really anything. You can make them talk, shoot each other, kill each other, have sex, you know, anything you want to do. And it runs fairly fine for a tablet. I mean, when I first used this software, it was on a desktop. It's XP desktop. It was also free at the time, too. Now it's not free. Um, <laughs> but, uh,. I used it, it, it lagged so bad, it was, I don't know how the hell I ever made anything in this software, because I had just like a shitty e-machines from, it was, I don't know how many years old that thing was, but it was not really up to the task. And, uh, right now you see, I can move around here, I can spin by hold, ta holding that and tapping, you can spin the camera, um, you can pinch to zoom, I believe, as well. Um... So, yeah, you can make the guy talk, and yeah, have a little uh, movie, let me, let me just play it, it's really ridiculously stupid, but what the hell, I made it in five seconds, I used to use this software all the time, but I kind of gave up on it when, whatever, <laughs> nobody watched the videos, I have some pussy with a gun, hello, it's a, not very long, <laughs> For some reason, he's walking into a bush. Maybe he's just an idiot. All right. Then you can like render it in HD. You can also do further editing and, and like say Sony Vegas because again it's Windows, so you can use Sony Vegas. Uh, I have Steam on here. You can download your Steam games. Not everyone's gonna work. It's not that powerful, but some of them will. I've seen people playing Burnout Paradise, um, and you know, you know, unless you have an Xbox controller. You know, you're going to need a workaround to play the games. You don't want to take an Xbox controller in your pocket or whatever. You're going to want some kind of way of playing the games. I'm like on Android and iOS where the games have uh, are optimized for touch screens and they have touch controls. Windows doesn't really have that, but there are softwares to create touch controls for Windows. I have one of those right here. I haven't really used it. I looked it around at it, but right now I have not actually used it. But this allows you to actually download and create your own uh, uh, gamepad mapping. So you can like swipe around the screen. You can set it up the same way it would work on Android. So you know you want to look, you want to swipe to look, or you want to do certain actions. Say swipe up makes you punch or something like that. So, yeah, swipe up makes you jump. So, there's that, and they have all these profiles you can use. These are just a few of them. Um, all these. So, you can download, automatically download pre created profiles. There's no X input support yet, but they said that around the summertime they're going to be. There is going to be. So And Steam streaming also works, so that's cool. You get your Steam streaming, and it works really well, too. It's very good. Um, so if the tablet can't really handle the game, it only works in your house. It's not like with Shield where you can stream over Wi-Fi. It's like the old Shield where you can only do it in your house. So there's that. So get out of Steam. Yeah, I don't have Sony Vegas on here or anything yet. Um, but yeah, you got Fraps. You can use Fraps, or I'm sure you can use uh, DX Story. Uh, perhaps it's taking a little while, or I, yeah. So, it's not the most optimal experience for a touch screen. Um, even, you know, like this nonsense, 
Nobody's gonna use this. I mean, this really does. This is this thing is pointless. Yes, it works well with a touch screen, but outside of that, there's not much function here. Um, so, don't care. Um, so go back to the desktop. This is where you're more than likely going to be spending most of your time in the desktop. Uh, you get your emulators too, which PC has a lot of emulators for a lot of different things. So we have Null DC. You can run um, Dreamcast games. Uh, you do, like I said, you, I have a profile I haven't fully set up yet for touch controls, but uh, you should be able to do that. Um, it's a little kind of frustrating sometimes to get out of programs because, I don't know, it doesn't seem like there's an actual real set in stone way to do so. Um, so yeah, there's that. Um, you know, you get your Chrome browsers and stuff. You, there's a micro SD slot, so you can, it, I think it's up to 128 gigs of support. The internal memory is 32 gigs. It's not the, the most, but for the price it was cool. It's 250 and, uh, has, I mean, like, I have here the Nexus 7, the original Nexus, uh, not the original, the 2014, 2013, whatever it was, uh, Nexus 7, doesn't even have external storage in any way, um, runs Android, Android's cool, it's, just, it's a nice operating system, definitely, I've been using it for quite some time, and I love it, but it's not as open as Windows, and it doesn't have, like, emulators for every single bit, uh, old system in the world, it doesn't have, you know, you're not going to be launching PC games unless somebody ported it. Um, and there's just, as far as video editing goes, it's kind of limited. You can't plug a guitar into your thing and start, like, with iPad you can. But it's not very good on Android, like with amp simulators and recording music. And that's something I like music. And this should let you... Uh, record music should I not tried it but it should um, so that's that um, and the good thing is you don't have to rely on Microsoft store or something because I mean it has stuff that's optimized for this but you don't really need it it's not the only thing that the one thing they do have that's really cool is Hydro Thunder Hurricane I love that game um, that's really cool to have that on the go uh, Oh, had a little bit of a problem there. <laughs> All right, so let's see. I installed a, a what you call a application to get the start screen back, the normal start screen. There's so many ways to get to the uh, start screen already. I don't need. There's like three ways to get to the start screen. So I, I think it would be cool to have that, as opposed to just. They have that, and they also have a physical button over here for getting to the start screen, that start screen. So why not do have this start screen as well? So there you go. And you know, like I said, you get all your all your uh, PC applications are uh, portable, and they don't require internet connections for streaming, which is nice. And this per performs really well. It's a, it has great performance. I've not really had a problem there. So I will be doing stuff with this. It's a very thin tablet, by the way, fairly thin. Um, nice rubberized back. That's that.